Let's resume. And it seems to be now on. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is the exercise I also included in on the website. I mean the Excel sheet for the table. So you don't have to create. All you need to do probably just to make sure that you add those things over here. And we're going to be doing that. So um, I already created the file. I saved it in. I gave it the name ex minus twenty one, and then I saved it in this place just to save some time. And now I'm going to go for the external data where I am going to import it from the Excel sheet. And you can find the Excel sheet as well at the same place. So this is for the exercise number 12. I'm going to show you something new, inshallah, today, which we didn't, well, like I'm sorry, did not see last time. <coughs> so uh, let's go here next. This is the first row. So we know now how to deal with those. I'm going to change those later on. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time in here. Uh, choose my primary key. Probably this is the one, the ID. And uh, if I'm not sure, I just can go here and, and make sure that this is the ID is the primary key. So that's fine. And uh, next, I name it as employee. So this is the name of that table. Finish, close. And I'm going to the design view so I can see now if this should start with S and followed by three numbers. You remember how to do that? So how to do that? In the validation text it should start with S S and three hash keys. So this is what I'm, uh, I would like it to be, and then start with S and three numbers. I'm going just to copy that and paste it. And you see it doesn't show up all of it because it, it is on two lines. I pressed just backspace, so it just showed up back to one line. And this is a primary key, so that's done. Data type, uh, does it say the size? It doesn't say the size of this, so I'm not going to change anything. While uh, wherever this name size is 25, so I'm going to make sure that this has 25. Uh, department values ELC BS MIS. So, what I need to be doing here, remember, look up combo box values value list, and then I'm going to type all those va all these values one. Well, I can't have just gone back to the wizard again, but I think this this is uh, much easier. Why? Because maybe if you go through this uh, this wizard, it might delete all the data that is all the records. I mean, for that field, I don't know. I didn't try that, so um, just to avoid having that problem, I'm just not taking any change, and I'm, I'm just doing it this way. If I save, yes. Of course, it's going to tell me some data may be lost. You remember why? Uh, you text, uh, yes, because the text was longer and then it became uh, shorter. Yes. So I'm going to say yes. Uh, it, the rule it says maybe some rules or so data integrity may have been changed. I added a new rule that was not there before. Do you want to check? Yes, it checked, and every all of the records are still respecting that rule. So I just changed this department and you can see I can choose from the list now. Not from here yet, so I'm going to be doing the same thing. Go back to country again, and this is what I would like to see. So same thing. I'm going to go, uh, sorry, country here, look up. I can do something, just double click. Double click, it's going to ne go to the next one. For example here, just double click on here, it goes to the value list. So it's sometimes faster. On my computer, I need to change the comma to the semicolon. I don't know if we, I think on new computers, you just need to put the comma, it will be fine. So just uh, with your computer, just copy and paste the whole thing and then make sure that there are no spaces and everything. Because if you have that thing, maybe you're going to have some differences in the data. So the rest is uh, currency, two decimal places for all of them. So I'm going to go back here, and this is double. I'm going to, can I select more than one? Yes, but then I cannot change the data type. So I'm going to have to do that one by one. So currency, 
can I change that to currency? No. I need to change it from here to currency. Uh, I need to press escape. So from here, change it to currency and two decimal places. Probably, is it going to be worth it? No, Save. I just would like to see if it will not r delete the data. So it didn't. So that's fine. I need to go back and say decimal places, only two. two. Sorry? Two. Yeah, uh, the two. Two. I don't get. The auto is two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know it says two, so I'm going to going to take any chances and put because auto means it might go to your uh, configuration and take the information from there. I'm not sure, so just not to take any chances. I just want to be two, so let's make it two and make make it two, and then we're ma we're sure that it's going to be two. Okay, the same thing. Currency two again. Fine, and that's it. And we're ready now. Go back and see the table, save always. Something might have been lost. It always says that when we change the data types to something smaller, double is the biggest. And uh, normally currency is the same as double, but Alikum uh, Salam. So I don't know why I chose that. Yes? First one in the other page. Yeah, ID should start with, so if someone types something else than something that starts with S and three numbers, this is, uh, this is what should be happening. This should be displayed. This message <coughs> is to be displayed, which means uh, I need to start with S and something, but if I don't, I just do something like this. Otherwise, this should be displayed. Okay? So let's continue. Now the thing is, um, I'm going to go for the report. And on the report, I'm going to show you something that we did not, I mean, that I skipped last time. And I, I didn't, uh, we didn't see that. And I would, would like you to uh, just try it. And I'm going to show it to you, inshallah, a couple of minutes. Maybe it doesn't show up here clearly, but I'm going to get back to it anyways. And this is the part C, if you remember from the exercise, exercise 11, there was like a question in this uh, report, a C, the, the one with C, that says something about uh, in the s grouping footer or something. I'm going to show you anyways uh, how to get into some more advanced, um, make some changes. You remember some questions uh, when we said, well, when I did the calculations, how can I go back from the design view and make the changes to those calculations? I said it was quite, I mean, uh, a different way to do that. And this is what I'm, what I'm going to show, inshallah. So keep cruising, and, but ask me no, and don't show this again. OK, so uh, we're going to continue. And now let's go to create our report. And with the report wizard, I'm going to go here. So we should include all fields, so that's fine. I'm going to include all of them. And then uh, group the record on department field and sort ascend in order of ID field. OK, so I can group this department, and I can go and sort according to the ID field ascending so it's ascending and then the uh, report should be block layout okay next there's this uh, block layout and soft gray style soft gray style doesn't appear here and I'm going to show you where it is going to be changeable and I'm going to finish from here because later on I can change everything from the design view so uh, what is the name of that report? I just would like to select the name from now. This is the report amp. And finish. So this is my report. I can just make some minor changes. Close here so I can go back to this layout view. Delete this one and close that one. So I can just have more space for this. 
so that you have more space for the numbers. And there's something else that I would like to be doing. Can I just move this around? Well, yes. And the same thing for this one. Notice that I press the control key while I'm doing this, so I select more than one. And then move it around. Very good. And I'm going to select them all because I'd like to move them all. To make more space for something that is coming later on. Okay, uh, I don't need this one, but this one probably needs to have more space. All right. And the same thing for this one, maybe, to display the ducts and... Alright. I might need to change this better anyways, but now just to show you something. Double click on what? If I double click, no, no, it's just going to s switch from one to another one. Oh, you, you mean like the, like the auto fit? Uh, I, never, I never tried that. Here, if I double click, yeah, it does. Well, it did here, but not for this one. No. It doesn't seem to. Yeah, but for this one, it did something. Y you see, for the first column. Yeah, I know I can I can change that later on, but just not for now. I just would like to just display, show you the display. And uh, also I would like to show you the theme because this is where I'd like to be talking about this soft gray style. So whatever, it is uh, something like this is uh, gray and or softer than the gray. This may seems to be soft gray. So I'm just going to select this one. Just so how could you select the styles from the themes here I can select any any style that I'm that I'm, uh, I'm willing to, that I find you uh, beautiful. Sorry? Soft gray, it says soft gray. There's no name, and that I it, it just this is the name of it. There's no such name as soft gray. But just soft gray means something that is gray and lighter. So that's why I, s I chose one that seems to be like light gray. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we'd like to be doing, let's keep going and include the following as header and footer. What that's easy, we can go and do that in the design view. Uh, this one, this design view. And then we have like this report header, report footer, which we can just uh, drag down to have more space. So in the report header, let's include this Dubai University College. And report header, this is, I would like to add this and maybe just remove this, replace that. So depending on what I'd like to be doing, let's say. So this, include this in, in that. So I'm going to have that in page header. So this is the report header and then we have the page header. This is the page header. We'd like to have this salary information centered and current date and time. And I'm going to be in this, this is the page header. I'm going to have like make more s more room for adding more things. You can delete them all and add them again if you want. But if you just delete them all and then not add them, it is going to be quite hard for you to understand which column is which, especially for the numbers. So that's why I mean it's I am did I stop? What do you say I'm not recording? I think I am uh, because you came late and we're using this one so it is recording okay and now I can close this one so we'd like to have something that says salary information and put it somewhere in the center I can just move this around and we'd like to have something again with the current date and time and put it on the right and remember we can just copy and click on this place and paste and I can move this whatever I want it to be I can move it around to put it for example on the right 
and if I'd like to display the date and time, remember there's something I can do. Right click, properties, in the format, uh, let me just maybe make this smaller so you can I mean, have more time to see. So the long date shows only the date. It doesn't show the time. If I'd like to, sh to, to show the date and time, there's in this view there's nothing. But if you just go a little bit up, there's one hidden one which says general date, which holds whatever we want it to be. So now if I click on this one, I can see that this is the date and time. Yes. Type what? Well, we don't want to have just any date that is typed. We would like to have like the current date and time, so that's fine. But if we'd like to have something that is typed, I can just enter, um, have a, like a, a text box there, so I can allow someone to type something. But this is not what I want. OK, uh, I just would like to show you something. Report footer, we have like this department of finance, let's have that. And we have like page footer, uh, we have this report footer and this is the page footer. We have these pages, so it's already there, so I just need to insert this on the report footer. And page footer, it has that, I just would like to be, s well I want it to be centered, so just move it a little bit to the center. And maybe shorten it a bit it uh, can shorten this one because it don't it doesn't hold a lot of information so this is something close to whatever something that's similar to what we would like to have summary options for detailed record should display the sum average maximum and minimum values of net sal okay so this doesn't hmm i think i thought i, I made the change so net salary remember net salary when we had this I think there was some, some uh, I forgot to, to include that. I made the change, but I don't know, maybe it did not save. I made the change, but it didn't show up. Maybe I forgot to save it to the right place. So, page 20. Was the page doesn't update quite quickly, so I don't know which exercise. 13. Okay, it's coming. 11. This is 12, and I think I've made some. I didn't save. Oh, yes, I did some changes here. It didn't appear to be there. Anyway, remember how to add this? I wanted to add a new column called net sal. And uh, I want it to be somewhere there, but, but now I might just do some time just to make this smaller and save some space so I can have more. Yeah, uh, true, I should have used this double click, but this one I need to move it around. Uh, cancel. Just this one, move it around. If it wants to move, please move. Okay. Now it's moving. Alaikum salam. Sorry? Yeah, n now I'll, I just wanted to make more room, uh, s make this smaller first, and then I'm, uh, I, will have, I will move them all actually. Just to make more room for all the. Yeah, thanks. This is the beauty. And with the control key, control key pressed, I selected them all. Now I can move. Okay, Alhamdulillah, I did. It okay, so I have more. Uh, I don't know what happened, but it seems like it didn't want to help. Okay, now it's fine. So I have more space to add n more things. So I'm going to, for example, just to copy this one. Copying actually and pasting might be faster f for adding some fields. Like I don't have to select something, uh, net cell, let's say net salary and just in order to put something here and just copy again and paste it and just move it around this with the with the with the control key pressed i can move it around with the like those arrows and instead of this one to be like that i'm just going to put equal basic 
plus TA plus OT minus deduct. Press enter. Yeah. The green sign, it means you cannot uh, add the... Uh, cannot add the... Uh, no, it says there's something, notice there's something new uh, label, associate, an associated label. It seems like there's no, this label is not associated with any field. So this is what it tells me. <coughs> just pay attention, maybe you have something there. But no, I just added something that makes a result of a calculation. And now I added that. What about the, uh, the summary options? I did not include them. I just would like to have like the summary options for these things over here. And uh, this is what I, I want to show you, basically. You see the, there's some department header because this is grouped according to the department. And if I right click, actually, I can have more options when I click on this sorting and grouping. This is mainly what I want you to, re to, to do and to, to uh, know today. Because all the rest, we've seen it before. And you can see in this here, I can just add a lot of different things. It's, you see that it's sorted by ID, it shows up here. The group by department that I selected first at the, on the wizard, it's there. And if I'd like to add more things, I, you can see I can add more things. So I can add, for example, with this is no total. I just would like to have a total. OK, fine. Click here. And what total do I would like to, to, to be having? Of course, now it shows me only the totals of the fields that are on the table. And I can have like count, count the records or count the values. Like for example, I select, let's say, uh, basic. And it's going to show me, do you want to have, like to have the sum or the average or the maximum, minimum? And there's some others that are there by default. I can, of course, change anything I want. But let's say I have the sum of the basic and uh, show the grand total at the end. You see, when I clicked on this show, the grand total, something happened over here. You see some, so in the report footer, it showed me like this sum of basic, like the formula. If I click on this one, I can see now I have like this number over here, which is the sum of all the basic salary. So uh, anyway, thi this, what I wanted to show you is that you can add some options, different options from here. No, capital, this is not the, the, the main thing. Because actually, I used, you can use also lowercase if you notice here. I just used lowercase for basic, and it was accepted. So no, the brackets, no, maybe there's something, there's something else. Uh, and the thing is, we're caught up with time. Uh, group header should display uh, something. The group header and uh, make the report beautiful. OK, so I'll just the group header, basically. What I wanted you to realize that there's some other more options that are, that are here that I can add, I can update, I can change. If, for example, I started by grouping it according to the department and then I said, oh, no, I made a mistake. I wanted it by name. Well, basically, you just can do the change from here. And you can see now it's name header and it's on, it is going to be grouped by name. Of course, I need to be doing a lot of some changes, swapping some, uh, some, head some columns, I mean, some uh, column headers, some labels. Uh, to have them now grouped by name, not by uh, the department, or maybe grouped by country might, might make more sense if I just change this instead of grouping by department, I group it by country. So now if you go to here, does it show up like that? No. Uh, anyways, uh, you, can you can do more manual changes by coming on this this view how to display this again uh, just you you can you can close it from here anyways but you can also show it from here and hide it uh, let me just uh, make sure that we have some